Hi everyone, in this tutorial I'm going to teach you how to import mesh file from ANSYS to OpenFOAM. Uh, this mesh file is our mesh file is cylinder.msh. Be careful, it should be in msh form. And I in previous tutorial I taught you how to simulate this ANSYS, but in this tutorial I'm just going to teach you how to import this file to uh, open form okay cylinder.msh first of all we should uh, I'm going to show you how is our geometry I have created geometry before and I'm uh, showing you again that how is it let's open the mesh file again okay and um, as you can see it's our boundary uh, it is far field one two three four okay what is far field one and where is it far field one is and uh, this front wall far field two is top wall far field three is this bottom wall and far field four is end wall okay let's close the geometry and minimize the cylinder okay second part is we should go and find a, a problem a good problem for this uh, problem um, i got incompressible and uh, pisoform and laminar then i will copy this and copy and close it and I will paste it again okay and uh, the next part is we should okay. let's see what will happen if you run your problem in this problem and um, you can um, import your uh, file with this sentence fluent mesh to form flow and mesh to form and then your file name slender.msh then enter part of form apply as you saw um, there was an error as you can see it's for boundary field we should change the boundary field as we did in previous video okay let's go to cylinder.msh on the field and uh, far field one uh, should be in velocity inlet velocity inlet velocity inlet and copy and Paste it, paste it, and far field four is the end wall, and it is pressure out let save close. Okay, let's do it again. Fluent form apply then again we have error what is our error we should change the boundary field in our problem too okay we go to I I'm showing you the error so uh, you will you're going to get a uh, familiar with these errors in you as you can see it is completely different it's inlet outlet and v it's, its names are different we should change these boundaries completely okay for example okay we should delete this zero this one can be far field one and I will pause the video here and uh, when I uh, when I completed this part I will show you the results okay I 
completed this part i am showing you the result uh, it is far field one far field two far field three far field four cylinder front and back and other results uh, and you can uh, put a value for this uh, it's a bit so low it can be so uh, it is laminar and because of that I'm not change it to high amounts for field one and yes let's okay for field three and okay. save let's go to P field is for pressure as you can see it is again uh, different and uh, it's completely different we should uh, modify this part to uh, okay i completed this part two part field one two three four cylinder and front and back this is our values zero gravity and fixed value and drive. let's show you the velocity file again cylinder is no slip and far field four is zero gradient okay then let's write far field four again power form apply okay now you can see the geometry and our mesh file okay let's simulate this problem to our solver is piezo foam foam is it if the options okay uh, the previous one had a topo set date it's for a uh, pros media in this problem we don't have pros media so we delete this part and we delete block mesh too and in constant we go and delete f options which is for pros media then again form Let's pause video here and when it is completed I will show you the results. Okay, our calculation has been completed. I didn't change the control date and let's see the results. I see the U as you can see it is our Let's change the color. Okay. And it has been completed. It's for 100 seconds. Uh, because the velocity is not amount was so low, uh, we won't see the we won't see the voltage uh, shedding and uh, voltage strip street so i hope this video was helpful for you and if you want to see our future videos uh, please subscribe our channel